I entered back into graduate school and Prabhupada read my first thesis, master's thesis, on the Chaitanya Charitamrita. I was criticizing the criticism of Krishnas Kaviraj. I was trying to show the academic community the extraordinary work of Krishnas Kaviraj Goswami. Hmm. So Prabhupada read my, my thesis uh, in his a uh, few months before departing this world. And uh, he um, also heard from Rupanuga Prabhu at the time, the last of 101 letters that <laughs> Rupanuga would write to Prabhupada, for which he received 100 letters of response. The last letter he wrote had the last paragraph that contained all about what I was doing on my way to Harvard. And he says, we have been planning his program in order to get him into Harvard, where he can make a name for our society. Uh, let's see, skip a line here. Our uh, Here's the key line, Chaitanya Charanji. Our idea is to establish the pure theism of Lord Chaitanya at Harvard, vanquishing the Christian monopoly on theology. There you go. Beautifully put, huh? Okay. Very, uh, Rupanuga had a way with words. So then he says, um, uh, generously, Garuda is a very good scholar and a perfect gentleman. I think maybe back then I was a perfect gentleman. I haven't really, I don't have any evidence of that now. And he will make good impression in the intellectual community. Okay. These were the last words that Prabhupada ever heard from Rupanuga Prabhu one of his earliest disciples. Oh, okay. So, um, Tamal Krishna Goswami wrote back saying, after hearing your whole report, your package has really made his divine grace enthusiastic. So, so this was my mission, to go into the intellectual community at the top level, University of Chicago and Harvard, University of Chicago is where Edward Dimock uh, 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 taught, and he was he was the one who wrote the forward that Prabhupada so appreciated. So I went there, but then I went on to Harvard. So, so as I'm collecting degrees, three master's degrees, I, I warned you, uh, I'm an overeducated idiot, really, okay? Three master's degrees. I don't even know anyone who has three master's degrees. It's ridiculous. Okay. But I did one at University of Chicago and two at Harvard. And then I entered the doctoral program at Harvard. And as anyone listening here knows, you have to, at the end of your doctorate, you have to write a book. You have to write an original contribution to knowledge. You have to make an original contribution to knowledge. You have to mm. speak about something. You have to illuminate something further that the world's never heard before. Mm. So I was to do originally for years, it was understood that I was to do a comparative study between Christianity and Krishna Bhakti. This was understood for years. In fact, that's how I applied to Harvard doctoral program. I said I would do a dissertation on this kind of comparative study. Why? Because Prabhupada spoke about the importance of a comparative study. Um, um, Prabhupada wrote in a letter to Giriraj back in, the, in 1969. Um, I like the idea that you, can, that you should make a thorough study of theological schools and in the future, if you can explain our Krishna consciousness movement as the postgraduate presentation of all theological theses, then it will be a great accomplishment. Hmm. Wow. So you see how these words kind of converge on my being, <laughs> right? Okay. The pressure to do this, right? Cool. Okay. So I'm sitting before my doctoral dissertation advisor in his office. And he said, you know, he said, I have complete faith that there's plenty of scholarly treatment on the Christian side. I don't have faith that there's enough scholarly treatment on the Krishna Bhakti side. 
I said, hmm. He said, tell me. And then he confronted me. And maybe this is Krishna working through him. He said, Graham, which is my legal first name. He said, Graham, what is the highest vision of the Chaitanya school? Can you imagine being asked this? Here, what is the highest vision of the Chaitanya school? Now, here's my Harvard professor, world famous guy, mm. who's asking me, what is the highest vision? So I'm sitting there like, I'm, I'm at, at absolutely nanosecond speed, you know, going through all of the Bhagavad Gita, the Bhagavad, the Rasamrita, but there are some the Sindhu, the, the, the Chaitanya Charta. I'm going through everything that I've read. And I've been studying Prabhupada's books for years at this point and going deeply into them, hanging on to every word because of my going into the academic realm. So I need to hang on to my spiritual master's words. So he's confronting me. What is the highest vision? I sat back and I came out. I said, well, it would have to be the Rasa Pachidyai. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would hear the verses read by Swarup Damodar, his personal secretary. And this was the only thing that would send him into ecstasy. Rehearing these verses. It was the ultimate vision. And so he said, okay, well, has there been scholarly treatment of that? I said, well, many scholars speak about it and refer to it. I'm sure that there is. He said, show me. So for a month, I scoured the libraries at Harvard University, the largest library system of any university in the world. And I came back with zero. Oh. I came back and I said, Professor Carmen, there is none. He said, that is your dissertation. I said, whoa. 